right guys so we are headed to the hospital now I'm it's going game time yeah i know it's game time it's i can't crazy. believe it i'm going to actually be induced um because apparently the baby's losing um, some amniotic, amniotic fluid and she's like really big so they recommended me be induced i know a lot of you were saying not to do that but um i don't have no choice so yeah we're excited i mean i don't know how long this is gonna take um it could take hours it could take days i don't really know how fast like once they induce you the, that you have the baby exactly so so we are i think five days early no no four days early so yeah from the due date so yeah we're pretty close yeah we're pretty close but, but she's just a big baby she's like and <laughs> yeah and actually you're not dilating right no i'm That's... not i'm like zero percent dilating like mm -hmm. my cervix is closed so i'm like what the heck is going on but um yeah, so my service is closed, which sucks. Um, but yeah, we're headed to the hospital. I'm very nervous. I'm I'm nervous too. Are I'm, you? I'm super nervous. Yeah. Well, 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 yeah. I'm glad you'll be there with me. Yes. Here we go. I know. I'm so excited. <laughs> Here we go, guys. Are you excited? The journey begins. I look terrible, guys, but it doesn't matter. It's alright. We about to get birth, y'all. So it's all good. Go ahead and pan me. Ooh, you now you looking sexy. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> I'm gonna get one good look at this sexiness. Oh no. Before it all goes away. I look terrible. No way, you look what? sexy. It's gonna all be worth it when I have sweet winter. There she and... is. <laughs> there she is. Yep. All right guys, so we just, we just got here guys. So super exciting. You know what's so funny babe? Is that like I've never, um, Kind of this actually, hold on, yeah, hold up. We're gonna give y'all a tour I, I've real never quick. actually stayed in a hospital overnight, like ever, so. This is gonna be interesting. <laughs> like I was like asking her, how do you put the gown on? How do you do yeah. this? She's looking like really. I just I've never done it. So this is our room. This is where baby Winter. That's where she's gonna be born, right there, guys. What are you doing over there, baby? Oh, are you decorating the room? I'm just trying to trying to lighten the place up a little bit. something to eat today they're gonna take out my survey deal that they put in when I got here last night to see if I am dilated at all so um, fingers crossed hopefully that I am um, and then they can give me some I think it's pitocin is what it's called or pi I don't know exactly what it's called I'm probably butchering the name but um, if they give that to me today hopefully we'll see some action and hopefully she'll get here sometime tonight or early tomorrow tomorrow morning Anyway, I'm excited, tired, but ready for this baby. Okay guys, so <laughs> I am only dilated a half a centimeter. Woo! So after what, 12 hours? Yeah, after freaking 12 hours, it's half a centimeter, so I'm hoping, they gave me something else, they gave me another um, type of medicine that will hopefully do something else for me, um, get me to at least close to where I need to be, uh, which is like a, maybe three or four hopefully, but um, I'm just like, at this point I'm just kind of like, ah, like I just really want to meet her, and it's like, I'm willing to go through whatever pain I have to at this point, it's just like a matter of just getting it over with that makes any sense all right guys so it is 427 we doing this y'all well we're really <laughs> not so i took the we are doing it. We're doing um it. second i guess batch of medicine that i uh, was supposed to make me uh dilate and i'm still half a centimeter four hours later so um i'm a little bummed about that but um she was just saying that you know it's just every woman's different and so um, we were gonna try a second dose of this particular medicine. And the thing is, you have to wait another four hours. So we're gonna see if this works. Um, but it's definitely a process. <laughs> it's, I feel like we're playing the like waiting game, which is fine, but yeah. um, you know, I'm just like, ah, I want her to come like right now. Yeah, we're, but, just, we're, just, we're so anxious. Like. Yeah, but we're trying to like take it easy. She was like, you know, giving birth to like a marathon and 
being that I get induced, you know, you don't want to risk having a C-section. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'd rather wait it out. That's fine. Um, I'm having some contractions, which is good. Yeah, um, and they're, they're coming more, right? And they're yeah, they're coming more frequently and stronger. So mm -hmm. that's a good sign. Okay, guys. So check this girl out. What are you doing, sexy? Well, when you still haven't had a baby yet, <laughs> after... <laughs> Well, see, I've been here now for about 40 days right now. 40, 40 days? <laughs> okay, so we just we just met with the doctor about an hour ago, and they checked the, the medicine that they put her on, and she still really has not dilated that much. She's at about a half a centimeter, and she's been at a half a centimeter all day, so it's really not where we want to be, but they're going to go ahead and put her back, or they put her back on the Cervidil and that has to stay in for another 12 hours and we're gonna hopefully um, get some better results for tomorrow, so. Um, she's a trooper, she's, you know what I mean? She's just been amazing, strong, and I just, I just, um, I just can't be more proud and, and I just love her so much and she's just doing an amazing job, so. <sighs> it is now 11.31 a.m., right? Correct. I don't even know. Yeah, we're so trying to lose track of time. So um, we tried the survey deal twice. It didn't work. So now we moved well, on. Well, to, we also tried two oral medicines. Yeah, two oral medicines. Two of the same ones it twice. Didn't it didn't, and didn't work. And still a half a centimeter. So now we're trying the. Um, it, it's it's called a balloon catheter. Yeah, the balloon. Yeah. So hopefully that gets me to where I need to go. Um, cook. Cook, yeah, cook. Cook balloon. Or cook balloon, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to take that. Well, take that. You already that. did. It's inside of me right yeah. now. It's a it's... little bit uncomfortable, but um, it's supposed to do the job of making me dilate, um, open me up a little bit, and uh, so we can get ready for labor. Yeah, I'm such a, like, I'm such a, like, a freaking, honestly, like, <laughs> when, when, whenever, like, whenever I see, like, you uncomfortable, it, like, I get, like, speaking about it, like, I get tears in my eyes just because, like, <laughs> I hate to see it and she's like oh like I'm gonna take like it's mind over matter and I'm like sitting here tearing up it's like yeah it's crazy so you care about me I know So contractions are getting more and more closer together. Okay guys, so a little bit of good news. Um, I actually, what's it called? Did the cook, the cook catheter? Yeah. And it actually worked. So I am what, four centimeters now? Yeah, so mm -hmm. after 12 hours, I think last time we checked with you guys, about 12 hours ago, mm -hmm. but um, it was, she was, she was a half a centimeter dilated. Mm -hmm. And her cervix was like 50%. Mm -hmm. And then, now I'm four and I'm 90% effaced. Yeah. So the balloon thing actually worked for me. Yeah. And um, now I'm on Pitocin. Mm -hmm. So that's hopefully going to keep things into here. And hopefully we'll have a baby by t late tonight or tomorrow morning. Yeah, probably tomorrow morning, yeah. So. I'm excited. Let the game begin. It's like, it's like <laughs> finally, you know, what's waiting for so long. We've been here for a couple days now. Yeah. It's like nothing was happening, and so now it's like, okay, something's we're, happening. We're on day three. If your contractions are adequate and you're not changing, 
that kind of lets us know that hmm, what's going on here? Why, why are you not changing? Is it because the baby's too big? Is it because your pelvis is too small? Is it because the baby, you know, the, the contractions aren't hard enough? Mm -hmm. Which is why we're doing the Pitocin. You're at the top, you're at the top, baby. You're at the top. You're good. You're at the top. Just you're coming down. It's coming down. It's coming down. Good job. Good job. You got this, baby. Good job. Still there. Hold on. It's coming down. Okay. Breathe. Take it take, take a breath. That was a big one. That was a big one. That was that one that's almost at the top right there. Yeah. See, that's higher. And it was long. <clears throat> you okay? You got this? Come on. It's getting there. It's going back down. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. All right, guys, so we are at the next phase. Um, we ran into some pretty, Tori labored for- Forever. Uh, in, well, including yesterday, but today they broke her water like around 10 o'clock. She threw up three times. Yeah, it not, was, it was bad. I threw up three times, I- Not, not from being nauseated, but from the pain. From the literally, pain, yeah. Right up in the middle contraction, just Throw up. Yeah, I was shaking. I was hot, and I was cold in like the same second, which was crazy. Um, so I said, you know what? I finally gave in, and I was like, you know what? I need epidural. Yeah. So that's what I got, and I feel great now. They, they um, well, because they checked her again, and she's still barely like three or four centimeters dilated. Yeah. So I, said, I can't do this any longer. Yeah. So so she did an epidural, and she did, I mean, I'm telling y'all, like, she took like a champ. Like she didn't make one noise. Like. It was, it was crazy. She's, I was trying to do it, but you know, and I felt bad because I really wanted this to be a natural mm -hmm. um, birth, but you know, it's it didn't work out that way, and, no. and that's okay. Um, so but the, the amazing, here. yeah, but the amazing thing is, you know what I mean? Like, she carried winter for nine months, beautifully <laughs> healthy, so that's a win in itself. So, well, I'm tired, guys. Yeah. I'm so tired. I want to go to sleep. Um, I got this like birthing ball I think right here on, on my legs I don't know if you guys can see that but we're gonna try to open up my pelvis and everything else and try to get this baby out um, so we'll see Fingers so crossed. yeah so so hopefully with the epidural it's gonna relax her they, they got the birthing ball there and so she's kind of opening up her her, her pelvis and because we need to get dilated to more than just a three yeah which I've been at for like a day now yeah um, so, so ho hopefully she can relax yeah instead of you know tensing up and she can open up. Yeah. So anyway, guys, I probably look really weird, all like lumped over, but I can't. Sexy. <laughs> I can't. Okay. 
can't do anything else, but yeah. we will give you an update when we do something else. Bye. Baby. How is she? Is she good? She's doing good. Hi, baby.